If you love watching glamorous videos and would like to be notified every time we drop a new one, please bash that bell icon below. I have a few tips and tricks that will make makeup application more enjoyable. All right, so I did realize uh, over my years of working that a lot of us either don't pay any attention to how to wear mascara or we often don't have enough lashes, I think. So uh, either way, it's something that you want to accentuate, especially on days when you don't feel like wearing much and you just want to bang on some mascara and get going. Here's a pro tip for that. Um, I think a lot of us are not even aware that there are lash primers. Lash primers really coat the lashes, giving you know, even lashes that are less voluminous, more volume. And I really find that quite interesting, how it just changes so quickly. Um, and I think a lot of people also have very straight lashes and applying a lash primer actually dries up and curls the lashes upwards, even if ever so slightly. And I feel all these things make a big difference in lash makeup um, application. I always do look for mascaras that have two sides to it. Um, I think several brands do a duo mascara in which there's a primer on one side, which is normally white color, and of course a colored mascara on the other side, be it any color of your choice. Normally a lash primer looks like this, and it really coats the lashes and brings them, um, you know, makes them longer even surprisingly, because then you tend to coat from the very root of your lashes till the tip. And because of this extra layer on the eyelashes, when you apply a black finally over it, there's a double thickness. There's more to it, uh, your lashes than you would believe that there is. So I'm going to do one set of lashes with the primer and one without. So for those of you that really look forward to your lashes looking voluminous and it's, it's all about your lashes, this is definitely for you. So be generous, go heavy. Uh, normally when you see your lashes, you often believe that you don't have enough to wear mascara. But let me surprise you with this one. Here if you see Priyanka's eyes uh, straight up or in, even in profile on her, on the side that doesn't have any primer, you will believe that you don't have enough lashes to wear a mascara. And also there's a tendency to wear mascara only on the tip. So there's more reason why it just flops and falls down and doesn't have full impact. Now with the primer, and with the lashing of mascara over it, you'll see actually what it does and how much it brings to the fore in terms of shape of your eyes. Just give it a normal coat, even if it's a single coat. See on the other side, I'm not saying that a normal mascara won't do the job, but if you want volume and thickness of each of those lashes, a primer would do a great job. Here I'm just going in without the primer and using only a mascara to color the lashes. So basically for all of you that don't believe that you have enough lashes and you want your lashes to be striking, I would recommend a primer. As you can see, the difference is quite great. And um, also, it, it just gives you the kind of volume that you're always looking for. And sometimes mascaras do promise that and you end up not having it every single time. But with a primer, that's a problem taken care of. So I'm going to address uh, lips here. Normally, uh, we all do have a discolored lip. I think most of us have a discolored lip, either the upper lip or the, you know, the, the sides of the lower lip. And it's very difficult to find a nude, especially when you, when you reach for the nudes and you really want a pastel-y or a softer than you can handle nude. You want it, but you don't know how to approach it. And I think people with discoloration, like herself and myself, uh, we have a bigger problem where this is concerned. A lot of people I know actually wear concealer, especially if you're darker skin tone, they do wear a concealer and then they approach the nude. But here's what happens. When you have very warm skin and a very discolored lip and you put a concealer and then reach for a pastel peach or something, the peach kind of becomes almost neon in appearance and almost pasty. But what you can do to fix that or control it is I somehow always reach for nudes as bases. 
For Priyanka on her warmer skin tone, I would prefer a more, you know, browny, rusty nude. Because here's what I'm using. She would like something that is as light and bright as this color on her lips. Now I'm going to show that to you without any base. Uh, well, Priyanka chose this really pretty peach coral uh, lipstick. I'm just going to show you what it'll look like directly applied with no correction or no base. So now, as you can see, this very pretty lipstick has quite uh, turned pasty on her, and it looks uh, it looks like it has no body. The color hasn't come through. So on a skin like this, on a warm skin like this, I would recommend a slightly deeper pencil as an outline. Now I'm just going to show you one thing. The color of this pencil is actually quite deep, but when you use it as a liner, as a base, try and use it with a light hand. So all you're doing is actually giving a sense of body to your lips. So with a very light hand, you're just changing the skin tone on your lips a little bit. I'm not drawing a severe line like that. So let me just show you how this goes. First of all, sharpen your pencil, but knock off the tip so it's not too sharp and you don't want a very harsh line, which then you'll end up blending. And also don't hold your pencil straight up on the lip like this. You don't want a lip line, you're creating a base. So you want it to be spreading through the uh, lips. So just hold it at an angle and go very soft. So all I'm literally doing is just lightly coloring it to create a base. Using a lip brush, just blend that color through 